Welcome back to fourth lecture on class 10 science chapter 4 carbon and its compounds. In this lecture we shall discuss the chemical properties of carbon compounds. We shall discuss four main properties combustion, oxidation, addition reaction and substitution reaction. So let's get started. First combustion. It is the burning of carbon or its compounds in the presence of oxygen. Most carbon compounds also release a large amount of heat and light on burning. Let's understand this with the help of few examples. So when carbon burns in oxygen, then carbon dioxide is produced plus heat plus light. Similarly, when methane burns in oxygen, then carbon dioxide is produced plus water in the form of water vapor plus heat plus light. So during every combustion re reaction, large amount of heat and light are produced. Now combustion is of different types when different, uh, different types of carbon compounds get burnt. So when saturated hydrocarbons get burnt, that is when uh, the single bonded hydrocarbons get burnt, then they produce a clean flame. Now this is because when saturated hydrocarbons are burnt, then complete combustion takes place. That is proper oxygen supply is available. But when unsaturated hydrocarbons get burned, then they produce a sooty or unclean flame during combustion. Now this is because of lack of oxygen. So that's why incomplete combustion takes place and sooty flame is produced. One important observation of the sooty flame is that whenever we uh, warm some vessel, we warm some cooking vessel on a gas stove, on a kerosene stove, then its lower surface gets blackened. Now the reason for this blackening of the cooking vessel, lower surface of cooking vessel is the same reason. That is, incomplete combustion is taking place and the fire is not getting enough oxygen. So due to lack of oxygen, the blackening of the lower surface of cooking vessel takes place. Now the reason for this incomplete combustion is that the holes in the gas stove with, which the, with the help of which the oxygen reaches the fire are blocked due to some reason. And so the, those holes need to be cleaned and once the holes, the garbage, the waste in the holes is completely cleared, then again oxygen will be able to reach and complete combustion will take place and a clean blue flame will be produced and no blackening will take place. So till now we have discussed the reason for different colors of flame, whether it will be blue flame or some sooty flame, some clean flame or some unclean flame. But now let's see the, what is the reason for production of flame. So why is flame produced in the beginning? Now this is because flame is only produced when gaseous substances burn. But when some solid substances like coal or charcoal burn, they don't produce any flame. They just glow red. So flame is only produced when gaseous substances burn like LPG, kerosene, etc. One other, other important point is that fuels like coal and petroleum have some amount of nitrogen and sulfur in them. When we burn these fuels like coal and petroleum, then it results in the formation of oxides of sulfur and nitrogen. These oxides are very harmful air pollutants and also lead to acid rain. Thus, we should avoid the using of fuels like coal and petroleum and instead should shift to some cleaner fuels. Second, oxidation. Oxidation is the addition of oxygen or the removal of hydrogen. Carbon easily gets oxidized on combustion. Some substances which are capable of adding oxygen to other substances are called oxidizing agents. We have already learned about oxidation and oxidation reactions in the first chapter in detail. So you can check it out if you have forgot it. Now the third chemical properties of carbon compound is addition reaction. So the reaction in which unsaturated hydrocarbons are converted into saturated hydrocarbons in the presence of catalyst is known as addition reaction. So representing it in diagra diagrammatic form, so H2 gets added, that is hydrogen gets added to the unsaturated hydrocarbon in presence of catalyst like 
nickel or palladium to form saturated hydrocarbon. So here we have a unsaturated hydrocarbon whenever it is in the presence of uh, presence of catalyst and hydrogen gets added to it then it gets converted into saturated hydrocarbon. Now this catalyst is nothing but a substance which causes a reaction to occur or proceed at a different or higher rate without the reaction itself changing. So catalyst just changes the speed of the reaction but the basic fundamental of the reaction remains the same. Now let's understand this addition reaction with the help of an example. Let's understand addition reaction with the help of an example. So here we are having ethene. Its formula is C2H4. It has double bond between the carbon atoms and four hydrogen with it. Now on adding hydrogen molecule in the presence of catalyst, ethene gets converted into ethane. That is C2H6 and in this way uh, the double bond between carbon atoms gets broken down into a single in the, into a single bond between the carbon atoms. So in this way, ethene is converted into ethane on adding hydrogen molecule. This reaction is also known as hydrogenation. Now, hydrogenation has a very important industrial use. It is used for conversion of vegetable oil into vegetable ghee. Now let's understand the fourth and last reaction that is substitution reaction. So the reaction in which hydrogen atoms in hydrocarbons are replaced by atoms of some other element is called substitution reaction. So this is substitution reaction is the reaction in which hydrogen atoms of hydrocarbons are substituted with atoms of some other element. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So here we have the example of the reaction between methane and chlorine. So in the presence of sunlight, when chlorine molecule is added to methane, then one hydrogen is removed from methane and chlorine sub takes its place. Now this hydrogen atom which, is, which gets removed from methane, it gets added, it, gets react, it reacts with the second chlorine atom and in this way, Methane plus chlorine form chloromethane plus hydrogen, hydrochloric acid. So this was all about this lecture. In the next lecture, we shall discuss few more important carbon compounds. Stay tuned.